I'm out here in the garden tonight and we got a bit of a problem. Uh, a couple days ago, I came out here and this was a thriving cucumber plant. I actually picked a nice cucumber off there. But as you can see, this thing's gotten attacked by squash bugs. So we got a little cucumber growing there, but everything's just dying out on this. And it's just not looking good. I'll see if I can find one of these squash bugs on here to show what they look like. Um, let me see here. Right there's one. You see that guy right there? That is a squash bug. And the other day I came out here and I must have picked at least 15 of those off here and squished them in my fingers, which I guess is the best way to get rid of them. But yeah, they just keep coming back and they're probably gonna eat this plant until it's gone. And that's basically what happened with all my other zucchinis and yellow squash plants that I here. As you can see, this is where they were all planted and they're all dead, so I rototilled them all out. And this was the last remaining cucumber plant, and I really thought this was going to do well. But thanks to this guy and all of his buddies, it's pretty much done. So I don't know if I don't know if that one's going to grow or not. Probably not. And then and we'll just let it go, I guess. Next year, hopefully, we have some better luck. Here's some of the other culprits. There's one right there. One there. I saw one over here. Right right there you can see one. They're just all over this thing. There's there's one right there. So you can see why it wouldn't take much to really just kill a plant when they're all just eating on it all day. And we got this guy right up here. Yeah, thanks for destroying my plant, jerk. One thing I read is you can put something called seven dust down and that will protect your plant against these things, which is maybe something I'll try next year. Other people, they take like soapy water and they kill them with that. They don't get it on the plant, but they'll pick them off and, and spray them with soapy water, which kills them. I just started squishing them, but I just don't have the time to be out here all day picking these things off our plants and, you know, just keep it ahead of it. So as a result, we don't have any more squash or zucchini or cucumbers, but at least we did get one cucumber this year. So I'm kind of happy about that, and maybe that other one will grow, but hard to say. While we're out here, might as well do a bit of a garden update. Everything's really doing well on the tomato and pepper front. Over here, these are the hot peppers. And they're, they're growing nicely. I don't know if we can get a shot of some of the peppers on there. You can see one. This one's growing pretty well. And then you can see these here. And these ones are growing. They're all doing pretty nicely over here. The banana peppers you can see are going nuts. We're probably going to jar some of them up here this weekend. You can see them growing. So this is like the third batch of peppers I've gotten off these. They're just growing like crazy. And then the other thing that's doing really well, well, I guess lastly I'll show you the, these are the green peppers we're growing here. They're just starting out. We haven't really gotten any of them yet, but we will eventually. And lastly, the tomatoes, they're doing really well. We've been picking these things like crazy and jarring them. You can see in here, we got some that are ready to go right now. Down here, these are all beef steaks, and I have 17 plants out here, so we definitely have some tomatoes if anybody wants them. And then, I guess we'll go back here. I planted some more beans in this little square right here. Uh, didn't have too much success with beans earlier. These are the only plants that survived. You can see them right here. I picked some beans off these the other day, and you can see some growing right there. Uh, let's move up here. This is the asparagus, which I need to cut this down and more of it will grow, but it's kind of gone to seed here. Um, up here, this is the rhubarb. And that's still doing well. We should probably make a rhubarb pie out of that. Doing nice. Up here, got the lettuce. This is what I grew earlier this year and got mescaline mixed in there. But this is kind of not doing so well because it's so hot out. So I planted some more lettuce in this little square here, and I planted some radishes in this square here. I just did that on Sunday, so there's really nothing to show for it. And then again, you have the failed cucumber plant here, and a whole bunch of empty space. So that's what we're looking at today. Oh yeah, and here's some of the grapes that we have growing. They're doing really nicely. Just about ready to eat. Don't they look delicious? Oh yeah, I also got to show you my container gardening experiment. 
Right now I'm doing beans in this one. They're doing really well. You can see them flowering in there. There's a ladybug. And then these are my peas. And I put it up on this thing so they're kind of like growing up on it. And that should be producing here sometime soon. And then, oh, right there. That's going to be a pea pod. Then over here, this is radish. I don't know how these are doing. I just thought I'd give it a shot. My other peas are over here. They've kind of died out. But you can see there's a pod right there. Pretty cool. What do you see out there? Is there a little bun bun standing there? Oh, he's standing on his back feet. What is that? You want to get it? You want to get it? Ready? Go get it. There it goes. Come here. <laughs> oh, there he goes. You missed it. <laughs> Look at her. I got her running around that. Where's the bunny? Where is it? All right, you missed it, Rox. Sorry. Come on. Come here. Come here. You'll get him next time. You'll get him next time. <laughs>